There we are. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Historically Haunted Vodcast with a V. Um, so our guests are running a little behind today. Uh, our guest um, coming on, it may not be John. He's a little under the weather. They're kind of battling sickness. Um, Nicole, she's going to be coming on. She's a Reiki master. I think I spelled that right. Um, they're both also photographers and paranormal investigators. John's also a musician. Uh Decent friends of mine, good friends of mine, so they're not doing it on It's nothing crazy. They're just not feeling well. So we're going to give them a little bit and um, shit, just talking to me about me, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah, if anybody's watching, not really anybody watching yet, that's fine. Um, let's see. What did I do today? What did I do? Well, I did a bunch of stuff today. I went to um, me and Heather actually packed up and decided to go to Central Maine, headed towards... Um, the um the brunswick area topsom area harpswell type area not harpswell but uh, or's island bailey's island area stopped at the big indian stopped at the desert of maine there's a desert in maine which is pretty cool um so we did a bunch of that and um yeah just saw some awesome graves uh graveyards some different sites so that was pretty fun um yeah let me see. Let me go to comments. Maybe people are commenting. Hey, Betsy, what's up? Thank you, Betsy. I'm fucking drowning here. I got nobody fucking watching, and I got no guest. And I don't care. <laughs> Whatever. I'll fucking talk for an hour because I can. So, Betsy, cheers to you. Thank you so much for your support, Betsy. One person watching. I will take it. Of course, it's Betsy. If anybody's watching, it's Betsy. So, awesome. Thank you for fucking saving me from drowning, Betsy. So I was talking to myself for a good minute. No one seemed to give a shit. So, awesome. Thank you, Betsy. Um, oh, Heather is awesome. Heather's joining us. Hey, what's up, Heather? Awesome. Thank you for tuning in. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, it is cool. I appreciate that. I was mumbling for, for a couple seconds. Um, but no, it's cool. I'm not, like I said, I'm not flashy. I'm not going to fucking bring on a bunch of mumbo jumbo guests just to fucking get a cheap pop. And I'm not going to, so maybe that's why I don't draw a lot of attention and friends, but the ones I do, I cherish. And I appreciate you guys tuning in because I really don't give a fuck if people watch this or not. I'm going to keep doing it. Because I can, and it's free, and I don't care. So anyway, um, yeah, so we did that today, uh, uh, which was fun. It was fun to do a trip. For those of you, uh, well, none of you were listening. Uh, we went to Freeport today, the desert of Maine, um, which was cool. There's a desert in Maine. It's on Atlas Obscura. That was fun. Um, ended up going to the big Indian in Freeport. It's a big Indian. It's kind of like a local thing. Of course, it was only 15 degrees, so it was pretty cool. Um, let's see. I'm a little buzzed, so I can't think of where else we went. I know I took a picture, but oh, we went to the uh, London, Bre Lyndon Brennan Johnson, um, former president, stopped at this ice cream stand in 1963 in Dairy Queen ice cream stand in Brunswick. We stopped there, went by some old mansions and stuff like that. Well, we wanted to go see L.L. Bean's gravesite, uh, Leon Ledwood Bean, owner of L.L. Bean's, but that was covered in snow. So we went to the outside of the cemetery, didn't get to go on it. Oh, Betsy, you rock. That's right. Betsy was pretty much with us all the fucking day <laughs> live. So uh, through at Colorado. But yes, that's right. We went to the tavern, Jameson Tavern. That's where. Um, thank you, Heather. Yeah, that's where. Thank you. Um, that's where Maine in 1820 signed to get freedom from Massachusetts to be declared free to be its own state uh, and part of the union in 1820. So that's cool. It's haunted. It was caught on fire a long time ago, I think in 1893 or four. Um, and a little girl burned upstairs, and they see her in the gas station. Not a gas station. They see her in the bathroom. Wow. Yeah, you can tell I didn't do it last week. I'm a little off. So my guess will be slow. No one really wanted to jump on. I kind of reached out to some people. I made a couple things on Facebook. No one wanted to see to come on. I guess no one likes to talk or have free. Uh, no one likes to come on and promote themselves and talk on video. And I'm not fucking camera shy. You know me. So I'll talk by myself because I don't care. I don't need 55 guests. And the co-host and 14 co-hosts. I'm good. Take that as you will. I really don't, you know, it is what it is. So, um, but yeah, I'm really excited about my journeys in life. I'm really excited to have the podcast I had last week and to get recognized by by Rick Hale and them. And to say, you know, they kind of told me, if you guys listened to the Shadow Initiative podcast last week that I was on uh, last Sunday. Hey, Amanda, what's going on? I'm glad Amanda's here. Amanda is uh, a big supporter. Um, I can't seem to bring her comment on for some reason. There we go. Hey, Mercury's retrograde. Don't forget. So it's fucking with some shit. Uh, Amanda, what's going on? Two witches um, podcast. She's good people. So.
So, yeah, I'm not, I mean, I like to talk about my stuff, but I don't like to sit here and brag by myself. So be with me. I'm a little fidgety right now because I just, this is kind of weird for me. But if you guys have any questions, hit me up. Ask me anything. Uh, help me out here if you guys know. You know what I mean? So um, I'm just going to go right to it because I'm drowning. <laughs> Um, I spent this summer, if you guys don't seem to know or not, but I spent four year, uh, four times this summer I went across country. Um, well, actually, since last fall, I went to Iowa twice with Chris Sanders. I went to Virginia once with Reverend Jared, my old teammate. And I went to Pennsylvania with my best friend that I've known since I was about eight years old, Scott Bossy. And, um, geez, I went from everything to St. Albans Sanatorium to H.H. Uh, Holmes Gravesite to Hillview Manor to um, Gravity Hill to Gettysburg, to Salem, to little things that people don't even know about, like Breakneck Campground, went to the Tombstone House. It's a house made out of 32,000 tombstones from Union soldiers. Um, that's in West uh, Virginia. Well, not West Virginia. That's in Virginia, Richmond, Virginia. Went to some president's grave sites, went to a vampire's grave site, a couple serial killer victims' grave sites. Nathaniel, what's up, brother? I'm drowning here. My guest is coming on late. No one's really asking me questions, so I appreciate you. I know you'll fucking do me good. You'll ask me something good. Ask me a question, brother. I'll fucking bring you on if you want. I'll send you it in. Anyway, who cares, right? I don't give a shit. Thank you, Past, for sending me this when I was in a head-on collision and died for 38 seconds. Um, let me see. Paramount something of the Southern Tier. It's on the back. <laughs> it's on the back. But anyway, yeah, so if you send me your T-shirt, I'll wear it on, on here, and all 14 people will watch it. Um, awesome. Thank you, Nathaniel. Nathaniel's Bengals. Did your Bengals win, brother? Uh, I feel it's easier to explain where you haven't been, brother. Oh, thank you. Nathaniel's a big fan. Nathaniel uh, Elwell, I had him as a guest on my radio show last week. Um, the first time I was ever a guest, uh, well, I was in a band for a while, so I did guest appearances on that. But my first time ever for Paranormal, I was on Love, Light, and the Paranormal with Reverend Jay that I mentioned earlier, and Nathaniel was the co-host. So that was cool. He's a good shit. Um, yeah, man, like even today, like I was telling everybody that's just joining on, me and Heather went to the desert of Maine. It's an Alice Obscura spot. There's a house that's buried in the dirt there, and it's got sand dunes. It's not open right now, so it's kind of shitty. I have been to it plenty of times as a kid, but I got pictures. It's right on the same road as L.L. Bean. We went to L.L. Bean's gravesite, Leon Ledwood Bean, the owner and creator of L.L. Bean, but it was couldn't even get in. It was locked and frozen solid. You saw that? Oh, that's awesome. You watch the videos. I appreciate that. I appreciate you guys watching my shit, supporting me. And I know it's probably kind of boring right now. But like I said, man, I'll bring you all you guys on. If you got questions, let me know. Um, my guess is just running a little bit behind. Not a big deal, you know. So cheers, anybody out there. I spent 10 bucks on this fucking beer. But it's kind of cool and like, like a, looks like a, like a sanatorium or something in the background. See, like an infirmatory. Clown shoes. It's called uh, Ancient Hills chocolate fucking stout brewed in uh, whiskey barrels. It's like ten percent, so it's like drinking diesel fuel. But all right. Um, oh, we got Michelle. What's going on, Michelle? Michelle's gonna kill a killer question for me. What's your favorite location in Maine, Michelle? My savior, metal chick. That's awesome. What's up? Appreciate that. My favorite location in Maine. Um, I'm the type of guy where I can't answer just one thing. I got to kind of spew out a big story. My favorite location in Maine for cemeteries is Anderson Smith Cemetery in Wyndham, Maine. I've seen shadow walkers there. I've seen black uh, mist there. I've seen shadow figures there. And I've seen rods there. I don't know if you guys know what a rod is. A rod is a, if you look it up on Google or if I'm sorry, YouTube, it's like a flying insect, but it's like an alien insect. It looks like a centipede with all these flap wings and people have caught it and shit. They say it's paranormal alien, but I've caught that on camera. Well, my friend did. I didn't get to keep it because we're not friends anymore, but I was with them when they took the picture. That was pretty wild, a rod. Uh, Anderson, Smith, Anderson Smith Cemetery in Wyndham. That's probably my favorite cemetery. Ooh, let's see. Uh, my favorite grave of just like a single grave would be the White Witch of York, Maine. The White Witch, Mary Nason. She was executed at 28 in York, Maine, which is, um, I believe, America's second oldest city or whatever. Uh, named after Yorkshire, England. Um, there's about a, a concrete slab about that thick, not that, about that thick above her grave with jewels and gems. And there's a bunch of shit on. I've been there a bunch. And it's at the York burial ground, and people leave trinkets there for her. And there's her, her figures on the front. I got a picture with my mom who passed away. I love you, mom. 
and she was there, and there's a red eye that came on it. I've gone with Heather a lot. We go at night. There's always black crows there. And right at the York Burial Cemetery, where, where the White Witch Mary Nason's buried, there was a candle mass massacre, uh, massacre in 1961 to 1962, same year as the witch trials almost, right before then. And like 140 colonists were killed and or brought to Canada as slaves from that spot in York, right next to the parsonage in the York, um, the, the little... Um, the York Village is like a little uh, schoolhouse and shit and fucking yeah. Oh, don't get me started. York's wild. You go to York Harbor. There's a there's a ship that's seen there. Me and Heather seen it. It gets washed up during big storms. And there's also mermaids that have been seen there. Ghost ships and USOs, um, as well as Vic proof of Vikings and Abernathy Indians. And oh, I'm getting my nipples are getting hard. There's some good history shit there. There's some good good shit there. York is wild. Yeah, I love York. York is fucking killer. Um, when me and Heather get time, we're like, let's go to York. Nubble Lighthouse. Um, she's up. Then if you go to Elizabeth Perkins' house, she used to be friends with Mark Twain. He used to hang out there. And John Hancock, the fucking president, there's a John Hancock wharf. That was his wharf. And it's all based out of York. And then there's Butlin Cemetery, which is next to Butlin Shipyard. There's a shipyard there. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. I went off subject with my ADHD. But, yeah, <laughs> that was my favorite graves. Uh, graveyard, my favorite grave site. My favorite lighthouse is probably Portland Head Light because George Washington commissioned it. It's the oldest lighthouse, I believe, in America or at least Maine or New England. And uh, Henry L Wadworth Longfellow, the famous poet from Maine, used to write poetry there. So if that's my favorite lighthouse. Told you I got a bunch. Um, my favorite haunted place, though, like haunted home or haunted place, boy. I love Bernard's Tavern and Kenny Bunk. I love the Wedding Cake House. Fuck, that's tough. Oh, boy, that's tough. I'd probably say Amhi, uh, the Augusta Mental Health Institute that's that's like 2,800 people have died at. I've never been inside. I've been outside, and it's something straight out of fucking Stephen King meets Harry Potter meets fucking whatever. <laughs> it's pretty hardcore and evil. Chris Sanders and I have been there. It's pretty wild. So those are my go-to spots. I mean, I love so much. I love Stephen King's house. Um, you know, I'm the type of guy where I'll stop at just a rural burial ground on the side of the road just to see if there's a sea captain that was buried there. You always end up finding something. Um, so yeah, great question, Michelle. Thank you so much, Michelle Rack. Uh, you're cool. You're metal. You co comment a lot of my shit. That's cool. Um, baby girl, Heather, which in, which in uh, life guide show representative, how do you feel when you get a tour of Sarah George, uh, Sarah Jewett's house, Sarah Orange Jewett's house in Berwick, Maine? You went with me. Remember that Sarah Orne Jewett from Berwick, Maine. She was America's. Well, I'm sorry. She's the world's first female poet that didn't or I'm sorry, Arthur, that didn't write romantic novels. She wrote real books um, and she was friends with a lot of the old school representatives, too. And she loved lavender. She had lavender all outside her house. And you remember Heather went to her grave and she had lavender outside of her grave. And she died in that house, and her initials are in her bedroom on the wall or on the window. And her mom died in the house, too. We get a tour of it. And I remember the tour guide going, well, you should, you could be the tour guide. You know a lot of shit. Just like they did at Fall River when we spent the night at Lizzie Borden's. So um, I felt good. I, I honestly felt welcomed. I think it's because I, I love the history. I don't go just going, oh, books, who gives a fuck? I don't just go to go, oh, 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 ghost, ghost. Um, as many people know, I'm a history geek. I'm a nerd. Uh, I'm a paranormal investigator second. I'm a historian researcher first. If I go to a place, the ghosts are the bonus, even though, like I say, I've seen ghosts since I was nine. Um, I heard my mom who passed away. I heard her. I saw her ghost and heard her ghost when I died in the car accident. I saw my grandfather when I was nine. So I very much love my ghosts. I very much love my um, my family that's pretty much all deceased, except for my father and my sister. My, God love them. Um, my nieces, of course. But I love the history. I love going to a place and being like, oh, shit, the pilgrims were here. Oh, man, the witch, the witches. It's good and bad, of course, but it's just like heaven knows you feel the history. That's what fucking gets me right. That history porn is where it's at. I want to march where the, the natives marched and where the colonists had a hard time struggling. Massacre Pond in Scarborough where 19 civilians got massacred by Indians, got scalped. Richard Honeywell, who, who got his family killed, and then he killed Indians, natives. I shouldn't say Indians. Natives. Abernathy and such. So, uh, shoot, off subject again, but great question. Um, Lizzie Borden's house is wild. Yeah, me and Heather went uh, 2019, a couple of months before my mom died. I've actually blamed that for my mom's death for a little bit, but I let that go. We went and the other families canceled, so me and Heather had the whole place to ourselves. We get the murder room. 
we get the uh, the room where John Morris killed the mother, stepmother. The John Morris room with the murder room. And I laid in the spot where she died. I sat on the couch. I, I People think I bring on, like, my, me having bad luck, my mom dying, my best friend dying, my other best friend dying, my grandmother dying, my cousin dying, all within two years. Um, I've had a lot of death and tragedy. Um, I've had a lot of cars. I've gone through. I bought three cars in the past year. <laughs> I have crashed two, and I'm still alive. I've died myself. I had a kid die. I had a child that was eight months stillborn and passed away, and my only child that I ever would have had. So I've been through some shit, uh, you know, so to speak. Not to be a downer, but um, I don't believe this has got nothing to do with the places I've been. Just because I go to cemeteries, I don't worship Satan, man. I'm pretty fucking open with things. I've been to the Satanic Temple, but I didn't go in there licking goat's fucking blood. Blah. You know what I mean? I have respect. I have morals and I have guidelines and I know what's up and I'm deep within myself. I have shit luck and maybe I was cursed in a, in a bad life, but I don't think what I've done has caused this shit. Not that that was a question from anybody, but... That's true. History is what makes the location interesting. You're right, Nathaniel. I mean, obviously, if you go to, into a new house where someone killed themselves, like I went to Shaw's where that girl got stabbed in the neck and died in Maine. A random person stabbed someone in the neck. Then I went there to try to feel them and talk to them. And it's obviously not really a lot of history there, but it's still, that's the passionate part that I love. That's the part that I want. That's why I'm a part of the Warren Legacy Foundation. That's why I'm, I work with Ed and Lorraine's grandson. And that's why I, I work in the foundation that Lorraine started, because I do have that side. I still got to do the paperwork. I'm, I'm still going to get that in. I'm sorry, Heather, if you're watching. Not have I, Heather, but the, the runner. I still got to get some paperwork in. And I'm on 90-day probation, but I am a part of the Warren Legacy Foundation because of my heart and because I have helped people in dire need. And I plan to still do that. Um, but the history is what really gets that's my personal pleasure. Um, this Kim, hey Kim, my former teammate Kim Ann Gates. I asked her to come on real quick, but her and my uh, Nick, my other teammate, their uh, ex whole teammate from its Haunted Crew, they're busy doing stuff. They'll come on at some time. Um, history makes a location. Let me just scroll through some stuff here. Um, uh, was there ever a location that Nathaniel, is there ever a location that you've been to that was really hyped up by the paranormal community that you felt was a letdown? as far as expect expectation of the location um shoot <laughs> that's a fucking great question let me think about that one um geez i see i've been to fort knox i, I agree fort knox in maine is crazy i've been to lizzie's i've been to the conjuring house i believe in the conjuring house even before the movie bullshit i wanted to go that 10 years ago when the girl was complaining about people trespassing i wanted to be one of the people doing it i never so i believe in that I believe in Amityville. I haven't been there. So once I've been to, though, I've been to Gettysburg. Gettysburg's fucking nuts. I've been at the Axe Murder House, Facilla, Iowa. I haven't been in, so I can't really claim that. Um, shoot, I don't know. I don't really waste my time going to bullshit places unless I know for sure I'm going to get the fucking uh, boner <laughs> out of the historical part. I don't want to go to a place just to go, I hope it's haunted. Like, I want to go and be like, fuck, that's killer. It may not be haunted, but it was a historical fucking museum or it was a fucking a school or it was like a whatever. So, um, shoot, that's tough. Let me think. I mean, I met Amityville. Uh, I've been to the Warren's house. I haven't been inside the cult museum, but I've been to the Warren's house. I met Annabelle twice. I've, I've seen the Warren's. It's all the real, all of it's overwhelming to me and I absorb all of it. I'm an empath. Um, I am an herbalist. I was in training, master herbalist. I have my hat in many, many things. I cry every day, whether it's good or bad for the most part. I'm very sentimental for someone who's not, you know, whatever, but Shoot, that's a good question. Have I ever been any place that's let me down? Boy, that's tough. That's tough. I'm going to have to come back to that because I don't really know. I feel like every place I've been to has been pretty cool because I try to post about it because I enjoy it. Boy, that's tough. Um, I want to go to York. What about, what's this, what's she saying here? How about my hometown, Massachusetts? I love the graveyards here. Yeah, uh, Massachusetts has got the two oldest graveyards in America. I think it's a Dukesbury is the oldest uh miles davis cemetery or miles standish it's a pilgrim cemetery that's the oldest documented uh, uh public cemetery that's not a family cemetery in america the second oldest is in salem the salem burial ground where um this pilgrims and uh, the the judge there of the witch trials is buried Hawthorne, not Hawthorne, yeah hawthorne that's the second oldest in america and I believe Dukesbury also too or something has got the oldest pet cemetery in America and that's where Lizzie Borden's dogs are uh, Massachusetts also got the oldest um, planted fruit tree, the Edcott pear tree in Edcott, Massachusetts, was planted by fucking in 1640 or something. It's still growing pears. 
Johnny Appleseed, his house is in Massachusetts. Uncle Sam's house is in New Hampshire. Alistair Crowley stayed in New Hampshire. I literally, dude, I don't know how I retain this shit like Rain Man, but when I went to the Paracon thing with Heather and I had my own table, the guy goes, you're a historian? What's your credentials? Where'd you graduate? I go, I got stoned and watch a lot of History Channel. He goes, yeah, okay. So I went tick for tack with him about stuff, and he goes, you're a fucking historian. We started talking about Martha's Vineyard and stuff and how Belushi's buried there, and I just absorbed this shit while people are absorbing um america's got talent or the new dexter or the new fucking trend or the new tiktok video which whatever i'm absorbing history i'm absorbing shit that i want to see because when i fucking died and woke up and realized i'm alive still i want my life to fucking be cool and i want to not that that's not cool i don't want to diss you fucking people but i'm just saying i dig history man i dig going into places i dig when people go on vacation they go to these resorts and hotels and drink eat strawberries and daiquiris on the beach and i go to fucking mortuaries and where serial killers were and i go to eastern state penitentiary and see al capone's grave and i go to america uh, H.H. H. Holmes gravesite, and I go to the lead singer of Gore's gravesite, and I go to the Richmond Vampires gravesite, and I just, that's my deal, man. That's why I'm going to get, I have my RV, I'm going to get another one. I just want to travel, and I want to go find cool shit. Route 66, and I want to go see everything. I want to go to Jimi Hendrix's grave. I want to go to uh, Edgar Allan Poe's house. The, the horse he rode in on in Baltimore is one of the oldest bars in America, and that's where he had his last drinks. He died right down the fucking pier. For those of you who don't know who Edgar Allan Poe, you should basically not even watch my show right now. But <laughs> So I don't know. Uh, nothing from my guests yet. She may not come on. Um, shoot. If anybody watching wants to come on and just shoot the shit with me, fucking let me know and I'll send you the link in Messenger and you can jump on and we'll fucking... There we go. I'm way behind on chat. Oh, thank you. Um... What is history porn? Sorry, I just tuned in. Oh, shit, Kathy. God. Well, I'm just saying, um, not really. I guess I just made that up because people call everything porn now, food porn and whatever porn. I just dig, like, um, my ideal thing when me and Heather go out or whatever, it's like I want to go to the library and get the newest book on, on old places. Or, like, right now I'm reading Betty and Barney Hill, the alien abductees. I've been to their grave sites. I've been to their memorial in uh new hampshire and i've been to the road they've been on and i've been to their placard i still got to go find their dress but um i love all that stuff man i'm not just about ghosts and history i love aliens monsters um trying to think next week on on the podcast we're gonna have becca thomas and hannah sprague from and lynn thomas from cemetery diaries and right here in norway maine next friday i'm gonna have on my radio show it's vocal only on paranormal king i'm gonna have um fred williams ufo fred so that's cool. Um, I couldn't help it. I laid down in that spot as well as the couch when I visited as well. However, the couch is the original couch for production. Yeah, that's what they said. It's in the same spot and it's the same material. Looks the same. I would love to find union barrels, but I'm uh, secret. Yeah, Lizzie Borden's. Yeah, Nathaniel's. I was talking about where the father got killed. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is not the same, and a lot of it's not. I don't think anything but like a couple windows and like the doors and shit are the same, but. Um, real quick, funny story about Indian burial grounds. I know Heather watching is going to be tickled pink about this. She got a tick on her tit at the Oliver House in not Haverville, shoot, Middleborough, Massachusetts. The Lewis Oliver House. Um, is it Lewis Oliver? Yeah. That started the Revolutionary War, a lot of people say, because he found notes in the closet about from trees and Ben Franklin did. Ben Franklin stayed there. And there's an Indian burial ground out back. We smoked the joint out back and Heather got a tick on her. And hit on her boob and stuff like that from the Indian burial ground. That's so funny. Um, let me see. Hold on my Facebook real quick. I don't know if you guys can still see me because I can't see you. Uh, no one's in messenger. So no one wants to come on and shoot the shit with old Adam today. Old Uncle Adam. Old Adam, the historian ghost hunter. That's cool. Um, yeah, man. If you guys wanted to, if I, if you had a question, I didn't see it. Please ask again. It's kind of just me running the helm here. Um trying to think yeah so we went to um jo uh, the josh chamberlain house that he went by it in his grave site he was one of the heroes in the civil war one of the main captains went by there i know uh taryn kerper who does paranormal brew she's my co-worker or whatever on paranormal king and a friend of mine have had her as a guest she, she's like infatuated with chamberlain she wants his kids it's been dead for 200 years so i don't know how that works but Man, I'm glad you guys are awesome. I'm glad you guys are watching, man. There's only six of you. I don't try to be someone I'm not. I'm not going to come on here and go, unfortunately, we're canceled. This is it, man. It's just me talking shit. 
I'm glad you guys are watching. Um, you know, I don't know, man. I'm just this time last year I had like 14 friends on Facebook, and and, I, and I've been going to these places since I was a kid, and even really documenting it, documenting it since 2016, and. Um, I've been screwed over by some people. Some people have stolen my spot. Some people went and said they win, and I just didn't trust people. So now that I've been sharing, I know I'm more open to it. It's cool to have people go, hey, man, I'm going to be in so-and-so. What do you recommend? Like, who the hell was it? Was it Nat? Someone uh, someone was up north, up New York, and they didn't know where to go, and I told them where to go to New York, and then they told me I told them, and I had no clue. <laughs> But, um, yeah, yeah, it's weird. It's weird talking to a computer with no one talking back to me. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. I literally can talk a million times, but right now I'm actually getting bashful. Um, let me see. So, yeah. Me think, me think. No one's got no questions. I'm glad. I appreciate you guys in chat talking. I know it's hard to ask questions for someone who doesn't know what the fuck he's even talking about. But um, yeah, um, yeah, no one's coming on. Cool. Um, <laughs> I don't care because I'm still going for another half hour. So anyway, I'll, I'll just delete this at the end. No, just kidding. Um, cool. Let me talk some cool knowledge because I'm not going to waste fucking people's time. So anyway, let me see. If you're in Massachusetts, I'd recommend going to Newburyport. Newburyport has got a piece of road that used to be a main piece of highway that they closed because of too many deaths. And you can see it on YouTube. I'm going to upload my video at some point. But you went there. Me and Heather went there. There's still guardrails. There's still markers. But it's basically a road to nowhere. It's a walking trail now. It's the old abandoned road. It's also, if you go to Cemetery Road, it's the house where John Cena grew up. It still says Cena on the mailbox. His parents grew up there couple old buildings but you can pretty much connect to salem that way in danvers danvers as everybody know or most people should know at least is used to be saying salem village rebecca nurse's house is there her homestead her cemetery is out back where supposedly she's buried as well as one of the other witches george jacobs who was hung um they also have the parsonage where tatuba the the uh, the witch the slave witch was uh, pretty much started everything is right there as well as the first church there's a big memorial if you go around to Peabody, um, which is which used to be part of Salem as well, um, the Boston Strangler, Albert DeSalvo's grave is there. I've been a couple times. You could swing back around to Salem and spend days there from every place from the Witch House to the Witch Museum to the Pirates Museum to the Derby Street Lighthouse to the Bunghole Liquor to, uh, to all the spots that Hubie Halloween was shot at in Marblehead and Peabody. Come back around and hit up Sonic for some tots and the slushy with nerds. A lot of cool spots uh, in there. In New Hampshire, too. Strawberry Bank, New Hampshire is crazy. Point of Grays, me and Heather went to. There's a turnstile to get in, a metal turnstile. So that's pretty wild. I got a med card. It's for all you hit. I think I hit. So, yeah, it's... Uh, it's. Uh, let me see any new comments. No, nothing really. <laughs> oh, there is some. Drink kicked in, babe. Yeah, a couple of couple shots. Yeah, yes, I love the banner. Oh, thank you. That's Heather's. Oh, don't forget, I do have Annabelle that was signed by Tony Spera, the owner of the real Annabelle, as well as a crucifix that was blessed by Plato. The uh, well, okay, that's weird. She's fighting me today. Okay, I'm gonna let her be, but anyway, yeah, that's cool. That's Heather's little witch thing. I know, of course, you'd like that the witch stuff. I'm glad you guys are tuning in. I'm kind of falling on my face here. I thought for sure if I was alone, I could do better than this, but I'm doing fine, right? <laughs> Mass is full of history. Yeah. Well, everything started there. They still have the remains of the Boston Tea Party. Heather's been to the um, what is it, the North Street Cemetery, right? Where um, what's his face there? The guy that Paul Revere's buried. Paul Revere's house still there. The Boston Massacre is still there. And then you get, of course, original Cheers, where the show was based off of. Thank you, Kim. You're doing great. <laughs> Annabelle kicks ass. Yeah, she does kick ass. Tony. Tony's a good guy. I even called him Paisan. He called me Paisan back. When I went to the Warren Con with Heather this year, the, the Warren Con that was drawing 2,000 people a day, I saw Tony. I go, Tony. He goes, Adam Began. I go, oh, he knew my name. So I'm in cahoots with Tony and Dan and all them. And, of course, being part of the Warren legacy, which is I don't want to say cousins to Nesper because they don't really get 
they don't really whatever but it's it's the same fight man you know and, and uh and i'm friends with, with judy and tony and and um dan rivera and chris glorian and um rick clark and, and danny vitell not rick clark but you know what i mean i'm friends with all yeah rick clark i'm friends with all of them and patty and me and Heather are as well. So we know them well. I mean, I, I don't think we, we haven't really broke bread, so to speak. Well, that's not true. We did the night we met Annabelle in the Italian restaurant in Monroe. We, we saw Ed and Lorraine's grave. Uh, went to go see Ed and Lorraine twice, actually. And, of course, we did go to the Warner Cult Museum. We didn't go in, but we got to go to the house, and Chris McKennell gave me the shirt that he wore, or the jacket, rather, that he wore to Lorraine's funeral and some cologne and stuff. And that's when he left America for a little bit. But now he's my my tutor. He's my my uh, I'm kind of look. He's he's my guideline. He's my mentor. So I'm in good company, man, because Lorraine started the Warren Legacy Foundation. She wanted to start that with Chris. So um, did you guys go to Warren? Yes, we did. Yeah, Michelle, we did. I wish I was I was there. I bumped in. I wish I bumped in. I'm surprised. Yeah, oh, yeah. We had the uh, like Heather said. Heather was there. We had the cop car. We were parked out back by Danny Perez's hearse. We were parked out back. We had the old police truck. So, uh, and I've actually already talked to Dan Rivera, and I said, "Hey, I said me and Heather want a table there for historically haunted paranormal. That's our team. Me and Heather started it uh, 2019." We start our own team because we do enough shit alone. We brought Jared along. We even brought Johnny Lowell along, who owns Andy's Pub in Portland. It's haunted. Um, it's got a girl there that haunts it, Betsy. So it's it's uh, it's growing. And now, of course, historically haunted show on Friday nights. I talk on Paranormal King, and I got this. And it, it is what it is. I don't got any sponsors yet. I'm still kind of going off. I'm new. I, I've never been on TV. I'm not a big. I don't bullshit. I don't read scripts and I don't write down questions. I freestyle it. I free ball it. I fucking free roll it. And I just roll with the punches, man. And until literally they block me or sew my mouth shut, I don't really give a fuck. So I'm proud and I love y'all for watching. <laughs> real supporters, real fans is what it's about. It fucking means the world to me. I literally see all you watching and I got to, you can ask Heather. I count who likes my shit. I see who likes my shit. And you guys are the ones that I would fucking die for. I would put a steak through a vampire's ass for you guys. And then I'd eat a steak raw and die myself just for you guys. How's that sound? Crazy shit, right? I used to be a heavy metal singer, so I get crazy shit. But anyway, I prefer I prefer to shoot the hips. I oh, man, myself I got 100%. You're a good dude. I know others who do in their phony. That's true. That's true. There's a lot out there. Danny's boards are amazing. They're right. They're made out of coffin wood. And I appreciate that, Kim. Um, I, I, I'm not trying to go, and I'm not trying to down people. I shouldn't even probably say this because I'm not trying to be negative, but I'm not going out here to be like, look at me. I hope I get a TV slot. I hope I get to be fucking popular. I hope you all do good, even though I can't stand you. I just, I, it is what it is, man. I don't preach bullshit. If you don't like me, then you can just go take a flying leap. And and that's about it. And I am true to true to people who are true to me, man. Like it's cool. Like if you want to be cool, we're cool. You want to fucking share my shit? I'm down with that. You know I'm gonna share your stuff. So that's what it boils down to. But um, but yeah, man, I'm just living for me and, and my girl Heather, and I'm just loving my trips. And she gets me, she lets me do this stuff to go to Pennsylvania. And um my friend Scott goes, We got a campsite I reserved, and I'm thinking Rangeley, Maine, you know. Which is Cove, where I went, you know, half hour away. And he goes, Yeah, uh, Breakneck Campground in Pennsylvania by Yeadon. I go, What the fuck is out there? He goes, HH Holmes Grave. You hope you got a week to spare. I go, I just DoorDash. Let's do it. So I jumped in his car. I didn't pay for barely anything. And this dude that I've known forever, my birthday weekend, we, we left Friday and we ended up getting uh, invited by Sue Vec from Hillview Manor in, in um, shoot, not Castle Rock. Is it Castle Rock? No, Newcastle. Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Hillview Manor. It was built in 1925. It's an old asylum where people have committed suicide and and uh, and died of natural causes and torture. There's two graveyard, excuse me, two graveyards out back. She goes, I see you're on a road trip. I'd be honored if you were our guest. Oh, the hiccups. So we went. Bear with me. It's live, not edited. So, Oh, you suck. Brought to you by Poland's oh, spring. Pause face. So we went 
and got a whole tour of that. We ended up going to our campground at nine o'clock at night on that work. And it was pitch dark at breakneck campground, breakneck. And um, we ended up going in the next day for a little drive in the morning. And we saw a breakneck br- ridge in Hell's Run. And there's a little, I was like, you know, I can take a picture of that. And there's a big bridge that goes to the road to nowhere. And it drops down 300 feet on rocks. And there's just little signs. So we just grab pictures and we just go. And when you make a day out of it and don't really have obligations or sign of, we had like a hotel in Pennsylvania or uh, Virginia, like six hours away. So we had a little bit of time to kill. Um, so yeah, we just did that. We went to Gravity Hill, put the car in neutral, rolled uphill. A lot of cool shit when you travel and you look up um Atlas Obscure or other stuff, and it says near me, and you look up near me, and you'd be a surprise of the cool shit you can see for free or cheap. Um, and then you do the history, the digging, man. I guess I don't know. It's what I love. You know, you guys are awesome. Totally could picture all of us drinking around. Absolutely. I appreciate that. Um, Betsy, which is cool. Are you going? Bring the tents. Yeah, you remember last year in Sebago? Sebago's got Fry's Leap. This dude named Fry. I think it was Tucker Fry. He was running from the native Abernaki. They're all over me. They're all always bad guys, right? And he jumped off this cliff, and they call it Fry's Leap now. And he jumped in the Sebago Lake to Fry Island to escape them. And there's a little cove by that called Witches. <laughs> Witches Cove. And, of course, how you're not going to camp there. So we camped there. And Betsy, yeah, that's cool. Betsy's good people. Betsy Brown, Williams, she's going to good people. Going to be on our show in a couple of weeks. I was going to say, hold your breath. <laughs> yeah, it worked. Um, Heather, Atlas Obscura. Yeah, Heather, absolutely. Uh, Michelle, for sure. I see you're cool. You dig metal. You like witch stuff and ghost stuff. You're very, you're wild, but you're respectful. And that's cool. Being 42 and, and dying in an accident and going through all this stuff, I'm not going to hold my tongue or breath, but I know how to be respectful and conservative and know how to approach things and be cool. But I also know when to like stick up for myself. And um, yeah, man, I just love being me and I love doing my shit. And I'm glad you guys appreciate it. Two people watching, 30 people watching. I don't care. You know. It shit happens. Absolutely is right. Shit happens. Uh, like right now, she can't come on because she's not feeling well and her husband's not feeling well. So you know what? They're going to come on or they might not come on at all. They're invited and that's fine. I don't hold no ill. Man, people don't owe me anything. And I don't owe anybody anything. So, <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I just, I've always had the adventurous side, especially growing up in Stephen King territory in Lisbon. Learning about him, learning about Mothman and all this shit. You always try to look for aliens when you're young. And local, local, a lot of, lot of uh, sand pits in Lisbon, a lot of woods, a lot of parks in Lisbon, Maine. So um, graveyards are second nature, uh, you know. And and uh, I think people like to be remembered, and and it's really exhilarating. I almost like fear. I kind of like watching a horror movie before bed because I kind of like the feeling I get of being scared. I kind of like that, like oh shit, someone could be watching me. It kind of keeps you on edge because I think we've lost that as humans. I think back in the day, if you watch the movie The Witch with the two V's, The Witch, you can't go to bed at night without worrying about wolf attack, Native American attack, other colonists attack. Or your goddamn fucking house burning down because your candle was burning all night. So, and then the next day, it's like, what are we going to get for food? People didn't rely on supermarkets. Back then, you were always on edge. Not that we need to be all the time now. God knows. But can you imagine? That was wild back then. And I kind of liked the taste. Living in an RV for three years without power will do that to a man. I squatted out back for fucking years, bro. I could survive on a Holocaust. So that's what I decided. I'm going to go to these cool places I see. I used to read books and I'd see pictures and I'd say, well, fuck, Maine's killer. And look at all the stuff in my backyard. I still got to get to Bucksport. For those of you that have been to Bucksport, there's a grave Colonel Buck that's named after. He got a girl pregnant and claimed her to be a witch. So he had her hung while she was pregnant. And supposedly she said she'd dance on his grave. So after he died, this black foot appears on the grave. And it's outlined. They wash it away and the whole nine, it comes back. Call it mold, call it weather, whatever. But it's pretty iconic. It says buck with a, with a black foot. Google it. And there's a lake in there where Sarah Ware died. And he cut her head off. And he used her head in the evidence locker for 30 years until they buried it with her body. Don't tell me that. Don't leave behind, behind something. So, and then if you go up that way, you got to go to Bangor, Stephen King territory. The great that he drove by and stopped and envisioned the clown being down it. They gave him the vision of it. It's on like 34th Street in Bangor, Maine. So, Useless, but I could be on Jeopardy and win a lot of money for like stupid horror shit. You know what I mean? And a lot of you guys are cool and dig that shit. That's why I post it. A lot of you seem to enjoy where I go. 
and you guys seem to enjoy the fucking it's not easy putting a picture up and being like year where it is uh or what it's known for where it is what it's what the myth is behind it the year i went the hashtag the whole nine and then putting pictures it takes time and i do it because i got ocd and add and i do it because i want to perfectify what i do but to have people go man i really dig your shit man it's informative that's a fucking whole nother world to me because i don't i'm not i'm not getting paid i'm not getting i'm not getting sponsored by fucking water companies or uh, fucking lighter fluid or fucking so i'm just doing this for shits and giggles and my own thrills and to have other people be like shit this dude's fucking like blown away by the places i go i'm like wow like holy cool that's cool and i'm not being like oh i'm better than you guys i'm just like i'm doing the shit that you guys can't do because you have full-time jobs you have kids you don't have cars or maybe you just don't have transportation so what i'm lucky because my kid died and was never born well no but i'm gonna sit there and dwell about her i'm gonna go out and do shit for in honor of my dead mom in honor of my dead kid who was never born in honor of my best friend my two best friends that have both died back to back over heart attacks and seizures, not even drugs or anything. Like, fuck me. So, yeah, I'm going to live for those that have fallen. And it's fun, man. And some get jealous. There's a lot of people out there that go, you just took selfies. You don't actually investigate. No, I don't go live and go, uh, say your name. Uh, what am I wearing? No, I <laughs> sorry. And you can use tools all you want. Good for you. But you can ask me and Heather. We just sit there and vibe. We record. We take pictures. And we sit there and talk quietly. Because I don't know, man. I'm an overthinker. But nine out of ten people that see ghosts, what do they tell you? I was just lying in bed quietly and I heard something. I was just sitting there quietly. No one's sitting there looking for ghosts when they hear them. Ghosts come when you least expect it. When you're quiet. When you try to find them, they're like, fuck you, Zach Baggins. I'm like, good. But that's when you're like, oh, I feel something. I'm sick. Ah, I don't play that phony shit. I want to go in. And if I don't get the real evidence, man, I'll tell you, I felt something, but I got no proof. I'm not going to lie to you and go, oh, man, I had the cold sweats and I shook like a quadriplegic for three hours. I'm not a liar and I'm not a fibber. I do kind of joke. And I'll tell you what's up. Like, ah, I'm, uh, I'll bust your balls, but I don't go too long with that shit. I love the quiet. Absolutely, Kim. You know, we did USS Salem together. Um, USS Salem is a big, big, big battleship in uh, Quincy, Massachusetts, where uh, John Quincy Adams was born, President John Adams' son. They both have houses there. And also Kilroy started there in that in that uh, that, that uh, cove or whatever, started at that thing. But, yeah, it was really quiet there, which is great. Exactly on all this. Ah, oh, Michelle, you get me, good people. Heather. Um, my girl, the one I love so much, four years with me putting up on my shit. <laughs> uh, Pet Cemetery for me, I felt shock and pain in that movie. Reading the book helped. Thanks for asking. Well, well, see, Heather, too, we still have to go to the original Pet Cemetery house. I believe it's in not Hebron. Herman, Maine? There's the house there with the trail that's kind of filled in now. And then there actually is the spot with the Pet Cemetery. I think it was in Acadia. And then when they go up and the trees are like vine, like, like big, big veins, trees, it's the roots. That's in Acadia National Park in Maine. So we're still going to get there. And uh, boy, remember that uh, thing was the other day, the pop of Chase and and, uh, and um, Church? Not Chase, was it Chase? The boy? Fuck, I can't think. But yeah, we saw the pop. That was cute as hell. Um, okay, I'm sorry. I'm going through. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go is right. Uh, I'm not able to go yet. I can't. Yeah, there's a lot. Kim Kim wants to go. Yeah, we got to come up and visit for sure. We do got to come up. I know you guys are in Waterville now. Is there still a Tim Hortons up there? It's been a while since I went. Heather Kimini, that was tough for me. I was a huge animal lover. I feel good on the. Yeah. Yeah. You almost feel worse when fucking animals die than humans. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't even understand, at least. Which I believe animal spirits exist. There's a, a, in Akron, Maine. Akron? Did I say that right? shoot acton acton maine acton a-c-t-o-n maine there's loon pond l-o-o-n pond like the bird like the like the duck and there's a three legged three-legged dog scene on the shore there there's a boy scout camp right by there's a three-legged ghost dog yeah a-c-t-o-n acton maine i don't know why the fuck i store this stuff up here because i can't even tell you what i tied my shoes with yesterday <laughs> no no tim horton that sucks like I said, uh, there's a lot in chat, and it's kind of just me. So if you guys got more questions or shit, and I haven't answered or saw it, please, I'm not ignoring you. I don't do that to people that actually tune into my shit. So just ask again. And I appreciate Kim 
uh, and Gates and Michelle Rack. I hope I said that right. Rake, um, Nathaniel Elwell, Heather Caminiti, Caminiti. I should know that right. Come on now. Um, I'm sure Nick Cates is watching. I'm thinking you guys watching me. You tied your shoes. I got Velcro steps. Not time. It's not time. What's that mean? Oh, shot time. Oh, uh, this brought to you by Heather's Butterscotch Betty. If you guys saw my beer earlier, it's kind of cool. Look at the little sanatorium thing in the background. It reminds me of like uh, I don't know the place in Indiana, right? In 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 infield sanatorium in. I don't know. If you guys are uh, yummy, that's right, Kim. Hey, if you guys are watching, please, uh, beer, wine, alcohol, drinks, um, water, clam juice, pickle juice, fucking air. Hey, Adam, hope you're doing well. There's my Nick. What's up, brother? Me and Nick bonded so much in the cemetery the first night we met and got kind of buzzed over there. Nick, cheers. Get your beer up. I know you got a beer, you silly little bastard. Shot time, you say? Hmm. So you got to celebrate the Bengals. Come on, get the fucking shot up. Um, this shot goes out to all my listeners who give a shit for historically haunted show, historically haunted podcast, paranormal. It's just a brand and we're just having fun with it, but you know what? I'm willing, you, you guys know we're willing. Cheers, bud. You know, we're willing to work with anybody. Um, a lot of times I go off on my own. It's not because I don't like you. It's because I just get carried away when I'm in investigation. Nick's like, man, you took off. I'm at time at Salem. And then we hung out for a little bit. It's, 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 I'm just, I get lost in the moment. And, um, I'm passionate, man. I want to see my mom again. I want to see my friends. I saw my grandfather so I can see my mom, right? So, salut. Everybody drinking. <laughs> Shit. Cut. Everybody watching. Salute. Everybody cheers, right? Three. Go. Don't even need a chaser. But it's actually the alcohol. Cheers. I don't even drink usually. Well, I drink one beer a night. Gives a shit. I'm 42. I don't drive. So I don't drive after. I do drive. So, yeah, man. Um, 13 minutes. We can always go a little bit over because I'm just having fun, man. I am kind of feel like I'm shooting the shit. Nick's got fireball. Uh, anybody want to come on real quick? I'll send you the link in Messenger. It takes two seconds. You can just come on and shoot the shit. Seriously, Michelle, you want to come on and just talk? Anybody? I'll send you what I do is I send you the link in Messenger. You come on, you hit the link, you put a name on, you check your mic and background, you jump on for two minutes, you come on and say hi to everybody. I mean, I don't know. I used to be singing a metal band, so maybe I don't have fear or stage fright, but a lot of you fucking people are scared to be on stage or, or in the camera view. I asked like a lot of people to come on and they all want to do the radio, which is audio only. So I respect it. It's just, it's, I feel like I'm drinking alone. That's fine, though. Um, so our guest couldn't make it. Not a big deal. I'm shy. Oh, okay, Michelle. Cheers, though. That's awesome. Heather says that's hot that you're shy. I think it's in, I think it's in different successions. Oh, Fireball. We usually do the Fireball. 99 cents cheap. Uh, cheap, you know, 99 cents. Uh, let me see if anybody messaged me on Facebook that wants the link. No, nope, no one. Hmm. Too bad. Pansies. No, I'm not camera shy. I just can't tell you, unfortunately. I get it. I get it. I guess I'm the only one that's kind of like, yeah, throw me on, coach. I don't know, man, but it's cool. I'm Like I said, I'm not just busting you guys' balls. It's cool. We've got fucking 10 minutes left anyway. Pajamas, no makeup. I mean, what do you think I got? You think I got a fucking guy over here going... <laughs> I'm just giving you guys shit. Um, but I'm glad, man. I was going to... You know, last week I didn't have a guest either. They canceled, and that's why I didn't have one. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to take the week off. And I was like, fuck it. And then I'm like, I'm not doing two weeks. You know what? And I, maybe I'll admit that I'm a failure. Maybe no one wants to come on my show, and maybe it's me. Maybe people don't like to talk to me. Maybe I'm better off being a guest. So, I don't know. I give this podcast thing a whirl. Um, YouTube videos, camera shy, it's true. Um, I don't know, man. You guys are watching because you like it. Sarah Ware Bucksport. Yes, actually, Nick, we were talking about that earlier. I was talking about how there was a graveyard there, and then they dug it up to be the pond that's part of it but sarah Ware was killed and i don't think they ever found the murderer she was beheaded and they had her head as evidence for like like 22 years and then they finally buried it supposedly away from her but then she's i like I said, i've never been there so i, I want to get there and get deeper into it but that's a great question i got my myers mask downstairs i'll fucking i'll uh, transport it to you 
um, like in fucking. I appreciate that. If you guys really think I should keep doing this, I'll keep doing it. I mean, honestly, I don't give a fuck. I mean, I'm the type of guy where I'll go out and, like, when I might just sing and culling the herd, we'd sing in front of two people, and I'd still go up there and cut myself with bone fragments and put fangs in and hang myself with my microphone cord and shit. And I think kids spit in the crowd on all two people and their girlfriends, you know. But I'm not going to waste my time every Saturday for the most part. So we'll see what the next couple of guests do. Um, like I said, I got Beck and, and, and Hannah next week. And then uh, Betsy and Josh from the Searchers the week after that. But if, if people keep canceling, then I'll just I'll, I'll tuck it in and I'll just <laughs> I'll pack it up and I'll just say, you know what? Maybe I, I just I'm not cool enough. I guess there's a lot of pockets out there that got seven, eight, nine people that at once, or there's other ones out there that have these people that maybe are more interesting, or I don't know. Maybe I don't know, man. I'm just not going to bring on fucking people I don't want to talk to. So, um, let's see. Are there any pauper graves in the lake? In the question, which is very such an interesting story. Yeah, paupers are known as like the, like um like paupers are almost like what else do they call them? They call them down south. I forget now. Shit, poplar like poplar poplar. Yeah, those are like um yeah very very poor people. They would give them like the the for their funerals. They'd use like the utility casket to prop them up and when they buried them, they'd put them in a blanket, put them in a hole and then they'd reuse the coffin for the burials. And then and shit, I believe in fucking New Hampshire, they used one for like, to like make tomato sauce out of for a while or something. And they put it in a museum. I remember reading that in some weird book, weird history book, but yeah, I mean, poor people didn't get treated good. They even had these, uh, like the dog town or the poor farms and shit. They had a lot of times like people that are mentally handicapped or poor. They bring them to these places and treated them like shit. And even like um, Pineland Farms, um, kids that were half black and white, the Mongolian, Mongolian island, or whatever, they bring them over there and put them with the feeble minded people because they were just half color, you know? It's a man made lake. Too. Yeah, it is a man made lake. Exactly, Nick. Yeah. They started they started making the lake and they say that they moved the headstones, but they didn't move the bodies. And they say that you can supposedly see bones and shit underneath the lake, which is basically swinging like a lake of death, which is pretty fucking wild. I got to get up there. Uh, Nathaniel wants to come on the podcast and he will not reschedule on me. That's cool, man. I, I appreciate it. Like I said, I'm not giving everybody shit. I totally respect it. People don't feel well. They don't want to come on. Some people get camera shy at the last minute. That's fine. Um, I guess I don't mind talking about me if I, as long as I get the question, as long as you guys aren't sick of me, I'm having, I'm having seven or eight casual watchers. I just don't want to be like the fucking joke of the society because I just assume go back in my shell and keep my fucking knowledge to myself. But if there's people out there that want to know what the year is, what like Nathaniel, how many times have we talked about um come on now, help me out. <laughs> um Oceanborn Mary in Heineken, New Hampshire and New Hampshire. She was born about a ship and some pirates took over the ship and the pirate noticed the girl was pregnant and said, I'll spare your life and your baby's life, which was pretty much on her way being born. If you name your baby after my mother, Mary. So they named the baby Mary, Mary Wallace. Mary, well, she married was named Wallace. Her, she died at her son, Robert Wallace's house, which is known as the Oceanborn Mary house. Supposedly she took in the pirate and he died there and buried the treasure there in Heineken, New Hampshire. And then it's a home now. There's a big placard. She's buried in the burial ground. Nathaniel's been six, seven times, but he can't make it. I mean, Heather went once, found it no problem. <laughs> he put something like, uh, it avoids me like the fucking, uh, fuck that Nate guy. <laughs> oh, I got to bring you one day that way we can piggyback each other on the fucking, jump out of my back and I'll bring you over the front yard. So she comes, the lady in red comes to the door and scares people away and that's her. She was a redhead. That's one thing that keeps me into this shit. I mean, you get me into sports, which I used to be in. I love my Chicago Bears. You know what I mean? And I love my wrestling, my WWF. But but when it comes to, like, real life shit, man, I want my history. I want the lore. And even if it's not real, whatever, I want to find out the truth. I want to find out where the witches were, where the mermaids were, where the Vikings were, where, where that ghost is. Um, Hannah Crana, the, the witch of, of Connecticut. Um me and Heather have been to Eunice, Eunice Goody Cole, the witch of New Hampshire, the only person in New Hampshire ever found guilty of witchcraft. We've been to her, her side. Mary Nason, we talked about that earlier. If you fucking people watch and watch the beginning of the show. If not, rewind it when we get done. I could go on for hours about myself. I guess I could. I, I guess I just got flustered at first because I didn't have a guest. Come on. But um, I'm glad you guys watched. I'm going to keep this episode. I'm going to keep doing it. See how it's got eight watching in the corner here? 
when it says zero watching, when my own girlfriend maybe isn't watching, <laughs> then maybe I'll stop doing it. But for now, if there's an interest, man, fuck it. My YouTube channel's got over 100 subscribers. I got my YouTube channel. I got um, Historically Haunted channel, which has got all the, the podcasts that I've done, the radio shows I've done, and the podcasts, radio shows, TV shows, video shows, all that shit that I've been on are all on there. Historically Haunted on YouTube. And then there is Adam the Historian Ghost Hunter. Adam the Historian Ghost Hunter. I get six subscribers. But that's more or less my own personal shit. That's actually a little bit more kind of cooler shit, honestly. That no, no offense to my guess, but that's got me going to these places that I'm talking about. Me going to Gravity Hill. Me going to the Tombstone House. Me going to the Vampire's grave. Me going to the Boston Strangler's grave. I went to the Allenstown's 4 grave. Allenstown's 4 were killed by the a chameleon killer, serial killer in um, Bear Creek, or is it Bear Park, New Hampshire? Um, they were found in barrels in the woods. Um, and One of them was his daughter, Rasputin or something is his last name. German guy or something. Russian. Um, but the chameleon killer, if you look it up on, I believe it's on, shit, is it on Netflix, Tubi, Peacock? Underneath crime, chameleon killer, and uh, he it talks about the Allenstown Four, and I've been to their grave sites. I've been to the Smutty Nose grave sites, the Smutty Nose Killers. Smutty Nose is uh, not only a great beer beer company. Smutty Nose is the island off the Maine, New Hampshire coast. It's technically in Maine, and um, someone killed. I believe it was a pirate killed a girl and her sister. Um, and it was, and then he was hung for it, and it was known as the Smutty Nose Murders. That's off there. And I've been to their grave sites, and that's in Portsmouth. So I've been to some cool places, man. Uh, um, you know, so I'm willing to teach people knowledge. I don't want to give it away. I don't want people to go there and do fucking shows and little specials and go, look what I found. I want a little bit of credibility to it because I took a lot of time and read and, and documented this shit. But for the most part, man, I'm willing to work with anybody if they really want to work with me. They're decent people and want to fucking, you know. Jameson Tavern. Yes, Nick, I went there today. Me and Heather went in with, with to get clams there about two years ago. And I go, wow, I heard this place is haunted. I heard the girl died upstairs. She goes, oh, you're one of those. She goes, here. And she gave like a whole separate menu thing. And it's a whole thing about how it's haunted. There's a guy in the hallway, how it's been on TV shows. So if you say that you're into ghosts, you get a separate menu. Uh, Jameson Tavern, 1799. It's an old barn and house literally right across from the Yellow Bean establishment. The literally Yellow Bean store. Um, the only one that's open 24 hours a day, or used to be anyway. The, the whole the flagship store, L.L. Bean, Ben and Jerry's is right there, whole nine. Uh, Starbucks, everything. But anyway, Jameson Tavern right there. Part of it's a clothing store. Part of it's a food spot. With great clams and beer. Um, it's inside the old barn where they signed the papers for Maine to be free. Maine was the mainland of Massachusetts, and then in 1820, it was literally just Maine, its own state. We were our own state of the uh, 13 colonies. And we broke free in 1820. The people met there. These legislatures, the presidents, the whole nine met there, had a pint of some frosty ale, said Maine's a fucking state, kicked the donkey in the ass, went to the local brothel, and then went home. So that's still there. And it's haunted by some dude in black in the hallway and some chick is some little girl that was burned in a fire. I say chick. I mean, that. I'm sorry. I'm old school. Some young girl, it was in a fire, the thing, and she's seen the bathroom area so that place is very seasoned very haunted very spirited um me and heather have gone for a while um robert frost homestead no no i haven't gone yet i, I definitely want to go robert frost has got a little thing in old orchard beach tennis court named after him or something he's been there but yeah i gotta go there i've heard all about robert frost that's on atlas too all right guys i got about five minutes left i know i'm fucking boring the hell out of you guys you're one of those yes i am you're one of those yes i am Love it. <laughs> you're one of those. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. That's what she was like. She's like, oh, you're one of those. I'm like, yes. I love my ghost. Oh, Heather. We can at least. Yeah. Maybe we can all have a meal together there. That would be great. Nathaniel said something about it. my son's name is James, and I absolutely want to check this place out. That'd be fantastic. Well, thank you, brother. I appreciate you getting my back. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm just so modest and I, I almost wanted to cry. Not cry, but I just like, oh boy. Like, because I've had a couple guests kind of just back off, which I said, I don't want to make anybody feel bad. You don't have to be my guest. I just, I don't know. I hope I'm not just fucking doing this for nothing. Because uh, 
Um, I did the radio show with Ross Rospero for Paranormal King, and he goes, you need your own show. You're good at stuff. You're a good talker. And then I do a show, and I'm kind of like not really talking. I'm asking the person. So I go on a podcast, and the person asks me, which I can answer. When I'm talking about myself to myself, I fucking can't do that. <laughs> so I'm kind of winging it here. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. <laughs> I appreciate you guys helping me out and watching Heather, my love. Um, Rochelle is good people. Michelle, I mean, I'm sorry, Rochelle. I saw the rack thing and I put my dyslexia. I put the R in front of the M. I replaced the M. Um, Nathaniel Elwell, always good people. Um, StreamYard's a great service. Historically haunted podcast. I don't care. Um, honestly, I know I've said that over and over again, but you know what? To all my haters watching, going, oh, Adam's drowning. You know what? This is a little stepping stone for me. I'm learning from this. I'm going to be back. I don't have any egg on my face. Because I'm feeling good, and I got good people that support me, and I appreciate it. So it's nine o'clock. I'm gonna go a little bit later. I can go because I'm allowed like eight eight hours a, uh, a week, and I only go on or eight hours a month, and I only go on like once a week. I didn't go on last week. So does anybody want to jump on? <laughs> Maybe I'll just end it because I can just send you the link in Facebook Messenger, and you can just jump on, and there'll be a split screen, and you'll be right here, and I'll be like, "Hey," or I'm sorry, I'll be like this, you'll be here. Oh, what it's weird how it's like that. You'll be like where Annabelle is. Oh, there we go. So what do you feel like haunting all these people? Like, was it worth writing on that that parliament paper? Is that what it's called? Parliament paper? Like, do you miss me? Like, do you do you like scaring those those young, young females and that young boy? Fuck them. Fuck them. That's not nice, Annabelle. Be careful with that. Anyway, all right, man. That was stupid. Um, be sure to watch Heather. Um, Heather's on her Witch and Life Guide show her, uh, every Thursday. Oh, killer. Hold on a minute. All right, let me go. You guys are going to watch me be stupid for a second. But I got, okay, we don't, we, yeah, we, yeah, that's fine. I know I probably look silly right now. Let me see if I can. It's because it's fun. I got some people bailing me out that are close to me that have helped me out. I can get them on here. I never, I'm new at this, so. Okay. But yeah, I, like I said, it's a bump in the road. This is only about my eighth episode. You know, and a lot of people I'm getting are, are are people that have never really done this before. So I want to bring people that are new to the scene and kind of give them the spotlight. So it's fun to talk about shit with people. Um, but a lot of people get cold feet and sometimes shit will happen and maybe people don't feel good. So I get it. And it is what it is, you know. So that was hilarious. Takes time to. Yeah, <laughs> I love history. That's cool. I appreciate you guys hanging on. I'm going to try to get Nick... Um, Nick Cates and um, Kimberly Cates on here, possibly. If we can't, well, either that early, we can talk to them. We'll fucking talk to them because why not? Um, it's Saturday night. It's freezing cold. It's nine o'clock where I am in Maine. Oh, real quick, roll call. Everybody in chat, where are you guys from? Let's hear it. Please, you don't have to give me the town or the directions or the numbers. You can give me the town if you want, at least, but give me the state or at least the country, please, in chat. Nathaniel, I know you're in New Hampshire, right? Michelle, I believe Massachusetts by Salem. So my next destination, I would say, this is, I'd love to go to the Longfellow House. I'm surprised I've never been there in Portland. Um, I love going to the first penitentiary ever, Eastern State Penn in Pennsylvania. Oh, Shirley, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, as you know. Yep, yeah, that's true, Nathaniel. Um Shirley Mass, okay, yep. Yeah. Um, Heather's from Maine, Southern Maine. Heather's been around a little bit between the 510 and Portland. Heather actually was on um, the street she grew up on. I should know the Stevens Ave. There's a Stevens Tavern there and the Evergreen Cemetery. Two things about that. It's the only street um, that's in the Guinness Book of World Records that you can live and die on without ever having to leave. Is a preschool, an elementary school, a middle school, a high school, a prep school, a college, and a Christian school. And I believe it's like a funeral home and a bunch of shit. Oh, check this shit out. Hey. Yay. You guys on speakerphone? Yeah, I can't can. hear you. 
Can't hear it. Speaker. This is Nick and Kim, um, former team members of mine. I've known Nick and Kim for a couple of years now. And I knew when I first met them, I said, I'm surprised these two don't hook up. Yeah, and I think a couple of months, not even a month later or so, I'm like, oh, they're dating. I kind of called that. Um, oh, they'll be right back. They're going to work on some stuff. But Nick and Kim are good people. Um, a lot of people in Maine, New Hampshire, or even New England, I should say, know them. Um, Kim's more from Massachusetts. Um, we'll be right back. They're having some technical difficulties, but that's fine. We'll wait for them. Oh, here we go. Yours now? I can hear you a little bit better. What okay. is up? Hey. hey. How are you guys? Good. Good. Good to see you. Thanks for saving me. I'm fucking. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're doing fine. You guys are like, I'm on the road. I'm like, oh, no pressure. I'm like, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> so how was the holidays in the new place? You, how are you guys? Uh, you guys are scratching and surviving. You kind of doing your own thing and. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. yeah, we're we're doing just fine. Yeah, we're doing Good. great. Awesome, awesome. So you guys at the Warren Con and the Paracon uh, in Portland, and uh, the Warren Con was kind of hard. We saw you real quick. That was pretty big. Um, it was huge. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot yes. more than they expected. How was the holidays? I know you get the card from us, which you guys enjoyed. We get your card. And I love. Oh, thank you yes. so much. That was awesome. You new 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 house together. I'm sure that's yes. awesome. New holidays and shit. That's yeah. killer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, anything new on the horizon as far as investigations go? Any sort of um... no, 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 not as of right now. We're, I think right now we're just kind of surviving the winter. Yeah, I think that's what, what everyone's really doing at this point. Being know? a ghost hunter sucks in New England, dude. <laughs> yeah, it, does. <laughs> it definitely does. Yeah, I can't get ne done nearly as much as we'd like to. I go with Heather today, and I'm like, man, every graveyard's fucking locked and sealed and not plowed. I'm like, we can't go in there. Like, oh. No, no, I know. Right. And plus, not only that, I mean, it's been super cold. You know, it's been, you know, negative temperatures for the past couple days. So, yeah, we're on the coast. You must be freezing up towards oh, warm. Yeah. yeah. By Augusta. Holy cow. That's right. Yeah. At least on the ocean, we get a little bit of warmth. We don't get hit as much as inland, but holy moly. Yeah, so that's good, man. It's good to see you guys smiling together and stuff. Yeah, big <laughs> night out. I didn't know you guys were out. Like, she's like, We're just driving back now. I'm like, Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, Kim had a, a birthday dinner. Her birthday is actually on Tuesday. So, oh, 21? 20. Not legal. Oh, okay, yet. okay. Not quite there <laughs> yet. Nick's robbing the, gate, the cradle. Um, uh, a. Eddie Pence joins us. Uh, Michelle says hi, Nick and Kim. Hi. Can you guys see hi, that on the screen? Hi, Another one then, Nathaniel Elwell. Um, oh, getting birthday shout outs for the birthday girl. <laughs> So we've done some cool shit together. We've done the Salem a couple times. We've done um, a couple things here and there. What do you, what are you guys is um, you guys can ask Nick and, and uh, Kim questions by the way, real quick. We're gonna go for another couple minutes here. Um, what do you, what is your own personal favorite locations that you've been to uh, separately or together or whatever? Yeah, I'll go first on you, me. Uh, you can go. Huh? All cool. right. So there's actually a place in uh, Dixfield. Unfortunately, uh, it's you know it's on foreclosure right now. Um, it used to be called the uh, Well Street Inn. That's where we. Uh, that was my first ever investigation. First of you know doing anything paranormal. It's very well, curious. Is that in though. Maine? Yeah, that's in Maine. That's in Dixfield. I've never fucking heard of that, brother. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So yeah, so there's a there's a place down there. First of all, when you get down there, there's uh there's no cell service. <laughs> there's oh, no cool. cell service down there at Dixfield. So how's so your equipment like, work? <laughs> well, yeah. So when we got, you know, we went to the, uh, the end, I didn't spend the night the first time. It was more just, you know, from seven to 12, um, most in public investigations go for. Um, and when I got there, you know, it was my first experience of dealing with, you know, a K2 meter, uh, a voice recorder. Those are sort of my two devices that I started out with. And, uh, everybody turned off their cell phones and first, you know, five, 10 minutes of, of using the K2, it started going off. 
So I was like, wow, well, there's no cell service. So there's nothing pinging towers and all of our cell phones have been, you know, it fucking lit right up as soon as oh, you get yeah. there, dude. Yes. Yeah, Heather crazy. says happy birthday. Kim, you get some more birthday things coming in. Got Yay, more people saying thank hi. You. Wow. So that didn't take no time to just light right up for you then. Yeah. Have you ever yeah. felt that another place that quick? That that's that like instant? Yeah. So I from what I could gather, the the history is is that there's actually a little boy that died in the well. There's a they have their own private well system over there, and they, and they died in there. And they weren't able to recover the body, so oh. that boy is still there to this day. Good boy, still to this day. Wow. Yeah. Do they, I mean, so they open for overnights. Investigations is it off limits now. Do you know? If you... Yeah. So I'm unfortunately, you know, it's it's under foreclosure right now because you know it's just. Because the building is such a huge, it's such a huge building, so it's very hard to maintain, keeping up with bills and everything. So I don't, I don't know the owners, you know, personal finances, nothing like that. I don't know what they went through, but it yeah. was definitely, you know, it's, it's, it's unfortunate. It is such a beautiful location. That's the one thing I do like about these group hunts and people that buy these places to keep it alive. Sure, they make money off it, but you gotta fucking fix these places up because they're gonna be gone. You know. Yeah. Uh, Kim, what about you? What's your fucking go to? What's your little memorial? Is it me? I'm actually extremely fond of the Oliver House. I was just gonna say, is it Oliver House? Yeah. You know I, I swear to God, I was gonna say that. Cause you guys really love that. That was, I think, one of oh, our first yeah. investigations together. Yeah, um, it was. It was actually him, and that's where we met. So yes. Yeah. Um, a question for both of you separately from Nathaniel. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, how long? Uh, how long have you, or when did you start? How long? When did you start? I think you've you've been investigating longer than I have. Yeah, yeah, quite a few years. I've been doing this on and off for well, 10, 10 years or so. Yeah, I've been doing it since about 2017. Well, you're so. more of a, I mean, you're more of a tech guy, Nick, which yeah. I think is what you, you do in the field anyway. And then you kind of like, well, this is kind of cool. But you've always been the, the tech part for a long time, though, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, you know, I, you know, my first job was actually working at Geek Squad and Best Buy. Uh, <laughs> I love Geek Squad. They hooked me up back with my Dell back in like oh, yeah. 2003, brother. Oh, yeah. yeah. The black and man then, showed up. Like, yeah. Ghostbuster yeah, so style. I've been, I've been doing, you know, computer work. My, I mean, my whole career, even since I was like seven years old, you know, my dad taught me a lot about computers. So, you know, oh, I sure, really sure have, when it comes to like, you know, voice recordings, I can analyze all that stuff, even video. You know, I can put stuff together. It makes it really cool because, you know, you can capture all this stuff and be like, look, honey, look, we, and you, you can hear it for yourself. And you're like, wow, we caught that. You know, yeah, yeah. I really love exhilarating. you guys are like me and Heather, like other people. It's paranormal couples and nothing to the people that are some people are fucking married and you wouldn't know they don't wear a ring. They don't talk about it. They don't see pictures. And then some that's like, oh, they're together. They, they don't they, they go hunt. They fucking. They, and that's what's I think that kind of bonds you because no, I it definitely does have my girl go out ghost hunting or vice versa. I just it's cool to be a couple thing. That's what I admire about. That's why I knew right away. I'm like, oh, they gotta fucking make it because Tab and Brad are. I'm like, well, it makes fucking yeah. sense. Who else is left? Right. Um, you guys get another question coming in from Heather, my my lady. You know Heather, Heather. very well. She's part of the team. Do you or Ivar? Uh oh, <laughs> she knows something I don't. She knows something oh, I don't yeah. know. That's our cat. Oh, the kitty. Our she loves yeah. animals. Um, you guys sense any odd energy in your new place since you've been there? No. Good question, no. Heather. Thank you, Heather. Awesome no. question. No, pretty quiet. If, if anything, Ivar gives off a wonderful energy. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What about Albion? You grew up, I don't know, I shouldn't have name dropped that, but I used to deliver there, and it's yep. a very quiet, very rural town. That's where the fucking hermit came from, the, the, right? I'm the hermit pretty sure, the yes, yeah. And, the, you know, there's... There's quite a bit of history, um, you know, just just to name drop one person. I think his last name goes by Lovejoy, who founded, I think, Albion. Wow. So, yeah. There's um, aliens and Bigfoot sightings in that area. I didn't, even, <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know China. that. Huh? I didn't even know that. Well, of course you did. Vassalboro, where you guys do the Parafest, that fucking place is haunted. That oh, yeah. Bit. That oh, place yeah. is haunted, yeah. Oh, definitely. You guys are going to that again this year. I'd love yes. to go to that, I think. Yes. Yep. Yep. 
they even fought COVID last year, them fucking guys, Toby and them. That's cool. I like yep. to do that. It's I'm I'm learning instead of listening to people, I'm learning to judge people from my own, and it's a lot. It's helping me. It, which, it's you know. it definitely makes things easier when you judge. I don't ever judge people by what other people say, but I'm a really big firm believer in first impressions, and uh, yeah, there's some people it, that I don't have much to do with anymore because they just weren't making a good impression. Yeah. It's like someone going, oh, that cookie tastes like shit. And you bite it go, oh, I love almonds. It tastes exactly. good. Exactly. My fucking exactly. opinion is different, man. I love fucking, I love the, let me think. I love the Ghostbusters with the chicks in it. Oh, that shit never made that. What a travesty. Ghost. I go, it's fucking awesome. I go, Thor plays the secretary. It's amazing. It's fucking right. Oh, well, fuck off. It's opinion. Don't buy it. It's not going to ruin your life. Yeah. Right. You exactly. Know. Are you fucking guys in bed? I gotta ask. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, that is our bed. Yeah. I fucking love you, cats. My bed's right here. Yeah. Oh, look at that. This <laughs> is downstairs. She's gonna be my co-host, but she's chilling downstairs with the bulldog. And I'm looking like that's a bed. That's a bed yeah, post. Yeah, that's a bed. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That's why I wanted you. That's why I asked you guys, and I'm glad you came on because you're down to earth. I don't want people coming on going. Uh, Ken Brockman, nine o'clock news. Like, I want it to be fucking chill. <laughs> no, just, you know, I'm not kissing no ass. I don't need no script. I'm not impressing no sponsors. No, nope. uh, Eddie Pence, he's a good dude. He helped me out the other day. He wants to know if you guys, uh, well, he says you need to go to Madison Seminary. Have you ever been? I've never been. I think it's I Ohio, right? No, no. Where's Ohio, that? right? Yeah, Ohio. No kidding. Yeah, yeah. sounds yeah. familiar. I was born in Ohio, so. I love we gotta do some shit. We never did last year. Of course, I went on the road with my buddy, and you guys like bring us someplace. So we're gonna hit some shit up, especially your way. Some I don't know, pet cemetery spots. I mean, I guess the Bangor area has got some cool shit, or even oh, come yeah. down my way. We'll hang out at OB for the night. You guys can crash here or definitely. You know. Absolutely. I keep hearing there's activity, like it's one of the most haunted trails, and it's at least in the state of Maine. I see the old Hainesville? narrow gauge and Randolph. Oh, Randolph. Yes, I've heard about that. And, and even like, yeah, Haynesville Junction Road, a tombstone every mile, they say. There's some crazy shit up north, Maine, the Wendigo and shit. I'd go camping at Moosehead all fucking day. Pound some beers <laughs> and fucking walk around. The first time I met Nick, we went to Tab's house and Tab's like, don't drink too much. I go and she's laying on the floor and I'm like, go to Nick and go, let's go smoke and drink the cemetery. Walk around, had a beer. Yeah. And we just talked. And Nick is, um, I'm going to talk like you're not here. Nick is a good dude that that appreciates things, that understands things, that loves tech. He's a fucking tech geek, but he appreciates the history of things. And he's a good one to have on your side, man. And I'm glad you fucking jumped on, dude. I know we don't talk much, and I know we used to be teammates, and I kind of did my own thing. It wasn't so much you. I just didn't really want to be part of a team to an extent, if that makes sense, because of certain reasons. It's absolute, no, it I absolutely it. makes I sense. And, I, and it's nothing to no one. Chris is great. Tab's great. Brad's great. Yeah, You're I great. agree Jason, completely. Jason's a goofball. He's great. Uh, Heather, of course. But I just, you know, things happen, but we don't have to all be on the same softball team to fucking go have a beer after the game. Dude. Play together. So exactly. Yeah. And we can work together. That's the best part. Yes. Open arms. Toby's yep. good people. I'm friends with fucking Huntington and, and uh, Gillis, John Gillis, and fucking all them. So we'll make shit happen this summer when it turns out. Because I, oh, I, yeah, I, I, it's fun to do yeah. stuff in groups, but not. Most definitely. Yeah. I'm glad you guys jumped on. You saved my ass because I'm just like, ah, I've been places. <laughs> I've been here. I've been there. Uh... <laughs> no, you're doing great, Adam. Seriously. Like, just you alone. Like, doing. I'm serious. Like, you have a such a wealth of knowledge and history you are literally like almost a history encyclopedia dude you've always said that and it makes me blush and you know me dude i'm not trying to be like whatever i just i'm trying to find my niche and i'm trying to find my people and i will just want to contribute and i just want to be part of something and i feel like i have a lot to offer and i you, you and kim have been nothing but sweethearts from the war and con to it's haunted crew i still get the fucking jacket i sold you 50 bucks for the fucking thing <laughs> oh, you're good dude and uh so you, you know i got your back you know i'm always checking on you guys and fucking of course i didn't message 45 people i messaged literally well heather's downstairs she's gonna jump on and then i'm like nick and kim i'm like they wouldn't mind because I, I wanted to at least put a flyer up and at least pump it up and i just have you yeah yeah so yeah. we'll have you on again <laughs> okay yeah, yeah absolutely but, you listen, you guys can be fucking on the couch instead of in bed. <laughs> 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 
I said, I don't give a shit. I don't care if you're on the toilet and he's in the bathtub. You know me. <laughs> or vice versa. I don't give a shit. Live from um, the bathtub. We're going to go to 930, so we got 10 minutes. Do you guys, I know you guys got some whatever, hush-hush shit, but is there anything you can promote? Is there anything you want to promote when we get 10 minutes? Um, I can't think of anything right now that I I want to promote. Baby. You don't have a YouTube you know, channel, like, Nick, or nothing. You don't have a, even a gamer channel or nothing. No, nothing, nothing no. like that. No, no, no shit. Like you know, I mean, maybe that will change. You know, it's you know, it, it's it's hard to say. You know, because of everything that has happened in the past couple of years, you just don't know what's going to happen. And you know, it, maybe six months from now, maybe we'll have our own little page that will run. You know, and you're and, good at advertisement. Oh, at the I Paracon, know. You, you, you guys had the table, all the snacks, the raffles, and I'm like, these fucking guys are the backbone. You are yeah. what made that team really. And I look and I go, wow, like Nick and Kim. And then you're representing the team at Paracon. You represent the team at Podcast. And, and you're representing yourself as well as a team. But at the same time, just represent your fucking selves because that's what, what else, you know, and, and you have a lot to offer and you have a lot of fun with it. And you're fucking great people. Um, oh, real oh, quick. Appreciate that. Heather, with the question of, oh, I love you, girl. How did you guys feel sitting in the bride's room at the Irish Heritage Center in Portland, Maine? Huge. I love that room. That's my favorite room in, at that facility is the bride room in the front. The activity is crazy. We had some crazy K2 activities. We had some um, some voices we heard over, right? Yeah. 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 With is that with the bell fell, Nick? The bell tower? The bell yes. fell? Yes. 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 Yep. Yeah, we spent some time in there. I remember with the, with the flashlight and just talking. And, and Kim, you felt not uneasy, but you were kind of a little vibrant to an extent. Yes. Is that fair? Yeah, definitely. Yes. Not only that, but I guess some gooseys in there. Gooseys. Yeah, some goosebumps, you know. I always say it to Heather, goosies. It's, yeah, that, <laughs> that's another thing, too. Nick's, Nick's, I don't know. Is it fair to say you're a skeptic to an extent? Of course, I am a guy. skeptic to an extent, yeah. But when you feel something, you're, you're the first to go, okay, that's different. Yeah. And that's the thing. When he actually comes through and says, wow, I'm I'm feeling something, I, it's legitimate because he will be the first one to be like, eh, probably not. And Kim's like, okay, go with your gut. Like, you know, like, you know, yeah, that's what makes a Lorraine and Ed, not to be cliche, but that's what makes a pair of team. Like, Heather, right. Heather, I'm like, I don't know. Heather's like, I don't think so. I'm like, you're right. Let's get in the car. Let's go to the next one or something. Yeah. I know what to say when a little bit like with Nick, we kind of go. But yeah, there's, there's yeah, times yeah. when Kim and Heather will pull us in, and I think Nick's and me are smart enough to go, okay, fuck it. You know, like with Salem, we tempted it to an extent with the room and stuff, but some of them hallways, Nick's like, you got this? I go, can I come? Remember I grabbed you, Nick? We went yeah. down to the machine room where the guy had the heart attack. Yeah. Um, did they film something there, a movie or something? A movie, we, yeah. Yes. yeah. Yeah, a movie. And Kim's like, where'd Nick go? I'm like, I stole him. I'm like, I just had to. So he <laughs> off. Out of everybody on that ship, dude, Matt Warner, fucking Kyle Pong, all of them, Chris, I, I grabbed you because I'm like, this fucking cat, I need to find out. And it's nothing against anybody watching. They're all great people, too. It's just, I being a teammate and being the one I kind of knew, we bonded. I'm like, got a minute? Yeah. <laughs> and you're just like, what do you got? And that's what's commendable because you're a leader, too. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And that, that that and that area you're talking about that's the anchor windless room and that uh was. yeah yes and in fact i think when it was kim and i brand tab and chris when we were down in that area um they actually we we heard a noise like we asked somebody to make a noise if they're if you if you were here and loud it was just a ping and it was like wow where did that come from <laughs> yeah yep it did happen Oh, uh, man, you guys are such, I'm so glad you guys are such good friends because I kind of ended it a half hour ago, but I kind of, I can end it in 10 minutes, five minutes and be like, that was cool. So uh, kudos to you guys. Fucking that's killer. You know, fucking I'll have you on again. And it'll be a little bit more better, but yeah, cool. we only got a couple watchers. It's going to be saved, but it's cool. It's just shooting the shit with friends and fucking catching up. So, um, but uh, five minutes left. So, so people can pretty much just find you on Facebook. And like you say, as long as you're not drama and bullshit, you guys are pretty good to have friends. Just don't Definitely. come out. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
You're too old for that shit. Oh, uh, do you know Betsy Brown? She thinks you're awesome. Betsy Brown Williams. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. She runs with the searchers. Shane Pittman and them. She kind of helps them with merch. She's a good. She yeah. she probably if she, she's not friends, she'll probably be your friend soon, and she will share. And she's a sweetheart. Nice of a fucking person. And so okay. she's good people. Yellow Wolf. Yeah, she loves the rabbit Yellow Wolf. She will send people your way and uh, and promote whatever you have in the future. Eddie says yes. Madison Seminary is in Northeast Cleveland. Yeah. Cool. So yes, thank you, Nick and Kim. Says Michelle, and happy birthday to everyone. Oh, thank you, Adam. Betsy, you're welcome. I'm hey. glad you guys are good people. I wish we had more time. Hey, you know what? Thanks for having us. Like, you know, it's such a impromptu, but you know what? That's what, you know, spur of the moment makes it exciting sometimes. So fucking Appreciate Kim's it. like, we're literally leaving his family's house. We could probably be home in 15. I'm like, oh, we start in 15. That's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are like, ready. Right, yeah. <laughs> but that's trooper shit because that's what this is about. And we're all in yes. this to basically learn and help people and just basically have fun and fucking it's, it's either that or play dart, right? Darts, right? Or be at a bobsled team. What the fuck else are you going to do? So. <laughs> So once you guys get shit rolling and you're on yeah. a page, on a team, whatever, I'll promote yep. the fuck out of it. Definitely. We'll get you back on to promote that. We'll give you some time. Sounds good. Um, let your kids go and have some wild sex on this Saturday night. What am I doing talking <laughs> to you? <laughs> Heather says, uh, Annabelle says bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Seriously, though, I fucking... I owe you guys one. Hey, thanks for having us. Bye, man. guys. Uh, hold on, one more thing. Uh, Heather says, "Bye, you guys rock." She's oh, camera thanks, shy. Heather. On. Uh, oh, Nathaniel too. He's a good guy to have. He'll network the fuck out of you guys. Um, right. Real quick, that was um, Nick and Kim uh, Kate's from from Central Maine. Uh, paranormal investigators, technicians, sweethearts, good friends, good people to have on your side. They're seasoned veterans. That's fair to say. Everything from all over house to to home cases to uh, USS Salem. So thank you for your time, guys. Hey, Welcome. Thank you. thank you. God bless. We'll talk to you soon, and this will be up uh, in the archives very quickly. Awesome. All right. See you later. Bye bye. Thank you everybody for listening, and thank you for everybody in chat. Have a good night, everyone. Night. Night.